been up to? I've been riding on a daydream. Hey YouTube, thanks for checking out my channel. And today I wanna to talk about something that's gonna help me get to the roof on the RV. It's something that everybody should have if you're full-time RVing, because there's a lot of maintenance that needs to be done on the roof. If for anything, just to be able to visually see if there's any sticks or debris or anything like that that's going on up on top of your roof. And this will allow you to do it while keeping a small footprint in your storage base or in your storage area. So let me show you what I'm talking about. Now this is a ladder from GP Logistics and this is a six foot model. And six foot is whenever it's open because it's actually a little bit taller than me or yeah, it's a little bit taller than I am and I'm six foot. So whenever it's open, it should stand six foot. Now, there is an accessory that I suggest that you get, and that is this top shelf. They call it an accessory shelf, and you're only supposed to put your, uh, you know, your drills or whatever you may be working with on this shelf. Um, and it says, do not you know, stand on it, do not sit on it, it's not a step. I think that it's pretty secure and it'd probably help you up onto the roof, but don't do it, don't do what, you know they're saying not to do and that is stand on it or anything like that now you can only get this top shelf as an accessory that goes to the double-sided ladder and that's what this is meaning that it has rungs on both sides that you can walk on um, i looked at the one that was just one-sided and it looks sturdy enough but honestly i think that i would rather go with something that's double-sided like in this case uh, just in case i have to walk up the other side for a better angle or something like that i don't need to turn the ladder around once i've got it leveled out for the ground that i'm working on so real easy to open up okay the first thing you want to do is take the strap loose okay once the strap is loose go ahead and pull this apart and you're going to do that by allowing this to move just like that. So once the ladder is opened up, right. now most importantly, you have to lock in each individual corner so it doesn't move. Once you hear that click, you know that side's okay. All right, now all the sides are okay. And as far as this top here, there's just a couple of latches. You go ahead and push this over and that holds it there. And that holds it there. So now you've got a very, very sturdy ladder. And I only weigh about 215. So um, you can't really get an idea of what the limitations are, but this thing is saying that it, it can handle uh, 225 pounds. Um, the way that it's built, I would suspect that that's a pretty safe number. Can you go higher than that? I don't know. Now, the RV that I have isn't very tall, so that's why I went with the six foot ladder. We'll go ahead and go from the other side. You can see what I can do to get to the top to look at it. Now, if I was at the back of the RV, I could climb up on it at this point but it's nice because you can get a good bird's eye view it's such a compact size i mean you're only talking basically a, a four inch by four inch square maybe a four inch by six inch square whenever this is all folded up and as far as durability i mean this isn't extremely lightweight but it can be managed and it's just heavy enough that you feel secure whenever you're on it so they did a really good job with the uh, quality of this thing overall. The fit and finish is very good. I went over every single nut and bolt on each one of these rungs when I first got it. They're all torqued perfectly. As far as the engagement of the locking nuts, they're right where they need to be. So really good quality. The link is gonna be down below for this. Click the link. Once you're in there, determine what you need to do to get the size that you want. Now you gotta realize if this is a six foot ladder um, that the top rung is going to be roughly a foot below that. So if you need to step here to climb on to your RV, find out what the height is that you need to get to that RV and then add a foot. So like in my case, if I got a seven foot ladder, that would put this rung 
right about here and I could use that to step onto the roof. But like I said, I'm sure I'm going to be able to use this as a push off. I don't suggest that you do that. Matter of fact, I recommend that you don't do that, but I'm not going to be standing on, I'm just going to be using it as a push off. So that's why I got the six foot ladder. Uh, probably the best bet to be safe is I would have got a seven foot ladder that would have put the last step wrong, you know, another foot higher. It's just your preference and your thoughts on it. Again, don't take this as an instructional video. Uh, I'm telling you what they're saying not to do. I'm just telling you how it's going to work for me. Again, the link's down below. Click the link and then determine what ladder size you need. And again, I like the accessory shelf. Uh, the link for that also will be down below. I hope this helped out, guys. Appreciate it. Bye.